the deal, man? It's y'all favorite hood partner, Big Nina Boy, cuz. So, you know, let me address this now that I'm back cracking on the internet. You know, yeah, nigga, this that shake back. But, uh, I want to talk about nothing to some podcast, homie. Um, Paul P and Cowboy. Now, Paul P, I'm going to keep it all the way Fendi with you, homie. I wish you the best and success with your podcast. You understand what I'm saying? Because I actually believe that you got something going on over there. But you selling your soul to the devil, too. But, you know, sometimes a nigga got to bump his head down on this, on, on this concrete to understand. You know, taking the easy route may not get you where you want to be. Now, you paid for me to fly out there and do the podcast. You see what I'm saying? You paid me. I flew out there, did the podcast, received my fun young, and gave you a banging ass interview, bro. You know what I said and did. My personality just rocks on camera. Undeniable. Let's be clear. I gave you absolutely a banging ass interview. You see what I'm saying? But Cowboy get word that I came and did the interview, and you told he told you to throw it in the trash. That's not that man's money. You paid me to do that interview for somebody who don't put pay no bills over there can impact you to, to make a decision on videos. Listen, homie. You see that Nipsey uh, picture right there? Everybody knew Nipsey, homie. Um, you know, I went to Hamilton High School with Cub. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, a lot of us, uh, Rem Paul, all them niggas went over there. Uh, 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 my nigga Husta O, Clifton. Um, Nate, all these niggas that, you know, we went to Hamilton High School together. It's like, listen, bro, um, Cowboy was, 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 was a janitor over there at Nipsey's store, homie. Nigga took out the trash and cleaned up the shop. You understand what I'm saying? Um, bottom feeder, you know what I'm saying? Um, ex-dope fiend, you know what I'm saying? Base head. You understand what I'm saying, homie? Uh, Cowboy know that I know. That he's a, a, a LAPD informant. It's, 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 you don't find it ironic, homie, that once Nipsey died, Cowboy profited? Dude. The dude got a shop store. He actually stole a lot of Nipsey Hustle logos, homie. The dude been capitalizing behind what Nipsey created because he's not authentic. It's nothing that he's done on this blacktop that's authentic. Only thing a nigga talk about, ain't nobody finna fight no no rat. Where they do that at? I don't know no gangsters that 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 that, that let rats uh, negotiate terms and, and, and apply by a rat term. You understand what I'm saying, nigga? One thing we know about rats is you stay far away from them. Nigga, we niggas don't fight rats. For what, nigga? Now, Paul P, homie, you paid me to do that interview. You threw that shit in the trash, and your homeboy stopped working for you based off of what you did. You told me that that was your motherfucking podcast, homie. And you told me you stood on principle. You don't have nothing to do with me and, and, and Cowboy's verbal altercations. I respected that. Just like you respected my opinion. I'm very vocal. And ain't no nigga gonna shut me up on this blacktop. It's never gonna happen. And I don't, I don't, I, I don't negotiate with terrorists. Cowboy's a terrorist at this, part, at this point. The nigga is not out here helping his community. The nigga sitting up here, bro... You out. You you can't you you have no influence on no young nigga over there from your old section, homie. Stop lying to yourself. Now you you know, all you can say is catch a fade. Don't nobody want to fade no rat, bro. You, you you have a dishonorable discharge. You're not honorable. You don't make no negotiations, nigga. Now, y'all don't find it crazy that the dude said he snatched the chain and he had to register as an S offender? Come on, bro. That don't even make no sense, bro. You snatch somebody chain off their neck. That would go both ways. You see what I'm saying? You could get a, a S offender charge by uh, snatching the chain off a man's neck. It's a man. It's a body. It's a human. It, it goes both ways. A woman can get the same charge then, right? If a woman snatch a chain off a man's neck, she could go to jail and have to register for her S offender as well. Think about it. It's not rocket science. Now, I know what you was thinking. You was like, wait a minute. These views is coming in, and this dude is the last person that been around Nipsey. Now, let me just, let me ride, ride this wave. Okay, cool. Nigga's been years now. Rest in peace to Nip. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, a lot of us that went to school with him, who, was, who knew him as kids and shit, and watched him transform the way he became, been rooting for him. 
Cowboy ain't the only person who know Nipsey. You understand what I'm saying? You don't find it ironic that nobody from All Money In <laughs> deals with this man? If he was so solid and thorough on what he did, why did the team leave him behind? You got a promising platform, homie. I do want to see you win. And this ain't even no beef, nigga. I'm very vocal about who I am and, and what I am. You see what I'm saying now? You, you, you trash that. I just want to know why you trash the video. Let's keep it real. Tell me why you trashed the video because you paid me your hard-earned money, bro. And I took your hard-earned money and went on about my life. No problem. But when a nigga give you a banger-ass interview like that, bro, keep it real, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Tell me why would you trash that. Say it. I want you to be, really say it. Cowboy told you to. Cowboy don't pay no bills at nothing. Some podcast, bro. He ain't paying nothing. If he got businesses and all that, why don't he invest in the podcast with you? You understand what I'm saying? The dude is punking you and you selling your soul to the devil, homie. It just don't make no sense how you got a, 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 a rat. You see what I'm saying? A known informant and an S offender at your podcast. It's not respectable no more, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, think about it. Y'all drop something in the comments. Do y'all think that Cowboy should be working for a respectable podcast like something in nothing podcast? It's a great little infrastructure over there. Nothing bad to say. I actually want Paul P to win. I'm just telling you what it is on how I feel about the situation, bro. I felt like, nigga, that was damn bad. You know, you could have kept it solid, nigga, and, you know, holla at me if that was the case. You know what I'm saying? Because we could have actually did work together. You know, um, like I said, bro, um... Yeah, nigga, bust it down for me. And, and Cowboy, nigga, since you want to keep screaming my name and, and, and ain't listen, bro. Go on and twerk. Go on and jump on that table over there and twerk for that nigga, Paul P. Go on and shake it, Cowboy. You, we, we know what you are, bro. You know that I know. That's the only reason why you had him trash my interview. You see what I'm saying? Because you know that I'm accurate about what it is, bro. Yeah, nigga, catch this oil, though. Big Nina boy. Let's get it.